Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. If you're using Windows 10, chances are you're not entirely happy with all the crap that comes bundled with it and everything that's going on moments after your install. So in this video, I'll be going through a short checklist of things that I do to every system running Windows 10 before I actually start working on it. Now some of these tweaks are completely optional you may decide to do some of them and not do some of the other ones, depending on your preferences. But I'm going to show you what I typically do. So the first thing you need to acquaint yourself with is the group policy editor. So just go into start and type GP edit. And it should come right up. Edit group policy. You want to go ahead and open that. And once you're inside this interface, this is kind of the holy grail for setting up Windows, especially Windows 10. Now what you want to do is go under Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components. Now as you can see, this has a long list of different components, general Windows stuff. Now you want to scroll to the bottom and you'll start seeing a lot of things that you might be considering to turn off. For example, Windows Defender. Don't do this unless you have some other security program installed. But hey, you're watching the PC security channel, so most likely you do. So you want to go ahead and double click on the option that says turn off Windows Defender antivirus. And again, Microsoft has a little bit of a trick here, which is not very intuitive. So uh, when it says turn off Windows Defender antivirus, this itself is kind of like a component. You want to think of it as turning this thing on and off does not turn Windows Defender antivirus on and off, but rather what turns the toggle on and off. So for example, if this is enabled, it means Windows Defender is turned off. So turn off Windows Defender is enabled. I don't know what brought Microsoft to this craziness, but that's how it works. So once you're done and you're happy with your settings, by the way, if um, you're new here, you, you'll probably see this as not configured. But once you've enabled it, you hit OK. And then once you restart your system, Windows Defender should shut down. Sometimes this alone is not enough to discourage Microsoft from getting in your face. So what you want to do is check in Task Manager, your startup items. And if you see this Windows Defender notification, make sure you turn it off. And I'm going to um, show you how to also delete this entire setting. Now that's just Windows Defender. But there are other things like Windows Error Reporting, for example. So if you think that all this is is a consistent nag, you can go ahead and configure error reporting and disable it as well. You can also get some more interesting settings in your updates. So as you can see, here is a long list of things that have to deal with Windows updates. And if you're one of those people frustrated with the way Windows does updates in Windows 10, you might want to go through each and every one of these and decide what you want to do here. For example, do not display install updates and shutdown option in shutdown windows. So if you run a large corporation, you do updates um, on a scheduled basis. You don't want to update every time you shut down. You'll have to go through a few of these settings and turn those on. You can also configure automatic updates. But one thing I highly recommend doing if you're running Windows 10, again, this may not be for everyone. Some of you are free to disagree and do whatever you want. But I always recommend deferring Windows updates, at least for, you know, feature updates. So, um... What this does is basically it allows you to delay the process of your system receiving updates. So let's say something comes out from Microsoft. You'll usually get it immediately, but if you turn this option on and you delay the update, you can delay it for several days, maybe a month. And what that'll do is they'll greatly increase the stability of your system. Let's face it, Microsoft beta testing isn't really a thing. They just basically ask their users to beta test their software. So sometimes what you're getting, the code quality is like uh, monkeys jumping up and down. So like, I have had Windows updates that literally cause my system to lock up, go into BSOD, or just stop responding, even though I have an i7-4790K. So if you have a lot of valuable work on your system, I would highly recommend deferring upgrades for some time. That'll ensure that by the time you get the updates, they're at least a little bit more stable and more people have used it at that point. 
So these are just examples of things that you can change. Another thing I highly recommend changing is OneDrive if you don't plan on using it. I've seen a lot of people struggle with it over and over again when it you know, loads up at startup, but you can get rid of all of that. Just go into OneDrive and enable this option that says prevent the usage of OneDrive for file storage. Once this is enabled, the OneDrive thing should go away. So after you're done with all of this, you will notice the persistent nagging of Windows 10 to at least be somewhat reduced. But wait a minute, what about all these annoying apps that come bundled and you have no way to get rid of? Like, there you go, the Xbox app. Can't uninstall this. So in order to deal with crap like this, what you want to do is download and install CCleaner. That should be fairly easy. So I'm just going to show you what to do once you have CCleaner on your system. Just go ahead and run it. And then you want to go under tools. And then you want to go to first of all startup to delete things that you don't want. Like this uh, Windows Defender notification startup. You can entirely delete the startup item. And then you want to go into uninstall and start removing all of these crappy apps that you never plan on using like Groove Music. Go ahead, uninstall. And bam, it's gone. That Xbox thing that Microsoft didn't want to let us uninstall, guess what, we can still get rid of it. So once we're through with this, bam, that thing is gone. So you can go through this and declutter Windows to a great extent. Another thing to keep in mind is make sure you update your system before you get started with this process. Microsoft has a great habit of reintroducing some of these things, even if you've disabled or removed them once you update. So some of you may have to do this more than once on a given system. So ideally, I just like to have my system fully up to date before I even begin the process so that, you know, I don't have to bang my head doing it again. So I hope you found this video helpful, informative, and useful. Many of you probably know all this by now and you're doing it actively, but for those of you who don't, I think this is a lifesaver and I would recommend doing these steps every time you install Windows 10. Again, I'm not saying that you shouldn't use OneDrive. That's not what I'm trying to express here, my opinion about it. I'm not trying to say that you shouldn't use Windows Defender. Well, actually, I would say that, but that's a topic for another video. Nor am I suggesting that you don't use Microsoft apps if you find them helpful or if you like them. All I'm saying is that here are some tools and tricks. If you don't like these things, this is how you can turn them off or get rid of them. You don't have to make your life hell and bang your head every time you start up Windows 10 and think, oh God, I wish I could own my own computer someday. There's still a lot of ways in which Microsoft um, can overreach. So you want to keep checking your options every now and then. But usually GP Edit is where most of the stuff is at. And if you have command of that, you will have a way easier time on Windows 10. So please like and share this video and get the message out to your friends who may still be struggling with this thing. Check out some of my other videos. They're all pretty cool. This is Leo. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.